Hello YouTube, Jeremy here. I wanted to do a revision on the Backflip MX-4 for the 22 Maverick. Uh, it was a little premature on the last video I sent. So I wanted to make sure I was keeping everybody up to date on what I kind of ran into. Uh, in the last video I said water was not an issue. Um, it is, so make sure that you uh, take a few helpful hints that I just did and it, it works perfect. So I wanted to do a revision on that. Just a quick edit, show you guys a few things, and hopefully it helps. So here we go. All right, so once again, we have the Backflip MX-4 for the 22 Maverick. Wanted to give you guys a, another preview and also what I did to fix and correct the small water leakage that I encountered down here in St. Louis. It's been raining a bit, and wanted to make sure keeping everybody up to date on this so I don't do any false reviews or tell you guys not to do something when they might run into some troubles here and there. So first off, uh, you're going to have the tube lines. It does come with these. Uh, they're actually double in length, but I actually cut them. So what I did, step back up on here. So originally, because you do have a tube right up here that it connects to. So whenever the water does collect on your side rails, it goes all the way to the end down here and then right below your back, uh, back tire. So you're not going to get any water in here. So it did come with a full length one. So originally I had it from there, kind of just hanging out and it didn't look right. And I really did not want to make any drill holes in my spray liner. So I think more so because of the, the seat, the DIY kit that here it comes with on both sides, obviously. You do have these rubberized plugs. I wanted to point this out because some people had some questions about that, thinking I was just putting holes in my truck bed. So you got these rubber bumpers that you're gonna have here and also very conveniently here. So therefore I did not have to drill anything. They were already there, nice and convenient. And that's gonna take me a bit to put back in, so I'll just deal with that later, nice and tight. So instead of drilling holes, all I did was cut this off. You have the one end going directly up to the drain tube up here. And then I basically, instead of cutting anything, I would just kind of pinch this in half, like so. And just basically just shove it and feed it right in there on the side. I know it's kind of dark, so I'm sorry. Let's see if I can brighten that up a bit. But by doing so, it's very snug. It's not coming out and this is still detachable. If you ever wanted to remove this completely. So you definitely have that option. And again, this is going to wiggle back up in there. So that is your main water drain tube. I wanted to touch base on that. Second is going to be the water problem. Again, I don't want to say problem because it wasn't really, that bad it wasn't that extreme but again if i'm going to be putting things in here i don't want to get wet i'm going to make sure it's covered so what you'll see due to the i don't want to say unibody but because of the side bumper that they put on you're going to see this gap here okay so you're going to have this on obviously on both sides and it does a really good job on this rubber rail where it's nice and flush. So down here, you're not gonna have any problems at all. But once you get to about here, you're gonna have, it's not gonna obviously make complete contact. Get out of the way from my shadow here. It's not gonna make complete contact because you will have this bit. Again, not a huge issue, but for me, if I'm gonna have nice stuff in here, I wanna make sure it's protected. So what I did, it does come with a nice little reel of this 
insulated waterproof gasket liner. I didn't really think I wanted to use it, but I did just in case. So basically I just went ahead and cut off a small piece here. I cut off a little bit less than half of the amount and then just put it right under here. So that, as you can see, you can see a little bit of it. You can get, I obviously use a uh, X-Acto knife and slice it off if you want. You know, it's your truck, you do whatever you want. But you're gonna have that right here to make sure there's nothing else. And then it's came. All right, sorry, phone cut out for a second. And then it came with an entire reel of this material. So I went ahead just to make sure. I actually put it underneath this rubber flap here, going all the way across. So this is completely watertight. So it's not going anywhere. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. You can see a little bit of it, but I don't think anyone's gonna really be <laughs> poking their head between the back window and that railing. So I'm not worried about it. It's my truck on the and then I also wanted to point out, people are asking about scratching in this back area up. You're not going to. It comes with these three rubberized pieces. That's very durable, 3M adhesive. So whenever you do put it back all the way, it's completely sealed. So it's not going to scratch anything up. It's not going to ruin anything. It's right up against the glass. But you're going to have that here and also this rubber piece here that's gonna sit on. So, other than that, nice and clean. Again, it's off to the side. Um, it does have this bit of an indentation. I know it's on the spray and bed liner, but if you can see it. So if you really wanted to, you can take that long tube instead of doing what I did. You can put it all the way here on the corner. And then that way, it's just gonna hug up that back back bed so completely up to you uh, but yeah no extremely happy with how it turned out and again whenever you have this back flip closed all the way and your tailgate is locked this thing is 100 percent secure all right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, so just one thing to look at, whether it's the backflip MX-4 or any tonneau cover that you'll be looking at getting, uh, because of those crevices that are built in between that side bed cushion and that back third window, uh, I got a feeling that's probably something that you're going to encounter as well. So I just want to give everybody a heads up as far as what to keep an eye out for. So if you have any questions, let me know.